Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 41 of FC Destiny with Barrowtown here in FC 24. The second episode of each new season is always about just playing the first four or five games in that season, so we'll get to that very soon, but let's get through a couple other things first. Your player of the episode from episode 40 for a record 8th time, Nikolai Zivergens. He's going to get plus 1 to his finishing and attacking positioning from last episode where he scored 2 in our opening match against Everton. Now, a big piece of transfer news around the world that does affect us here in this career mode. Newcastle have sold Bilal Elkanouz for 91 million to Girona in the Spanish league, but it was only to make way for this transfer. Iker Roman. He is the messy region, and he has signed to Newcastle United from Philadelphia Union for 160 million euros, so our northern nemesis Newcastle just got much, much, much stronger, just when you thought we're starting to settle into the Premier League. Now we're facing West Ham at the London Stadium to open up this episode, but this is what the slate of matches looks like for the rest of the episode. We're going to play away at West Ham, then we're going to go away to Chelsea in the League Cup, a tough matchup to begin our defense of the Cup. And then we're going to host Brighton in the Premier League and then go away to the Theatre of Dreams to face Man United is where we're going to finish off. And then depending on how I'm feeling, we may or may not face Nottingham Forest at home to finish off the episode or play the next round of the Carabao Cup if we beat Chelsea. But let's see what happens. Let's get into it. So here's a look at your starting 11s against West Ham. Ours is the same as you've seen in the first match for the Hammers. A very good lineup. They finished in fifth last year. They've still got Caduz. He's playing attacking midfielder. I like that role for him. Sancho's out on the wing. Wahi up front to Beast. Mamardashvili in goal is very good as well so this is a really good squad we're coming up against at their place breakout scenario is going to be for our jamaican center back odell if he can have 60 percent or higher tackle success rate in this match he's going to get plus one to his stand and slide tackle we're in the rain in london come on lads good interception easy interception arthur he uh, good dribbling great pace gets it forward to raman zivergadens has it out to Hei. This is great passing. The guy in the box is five foot two, but we're still gonna cross it to him. Azizi Rahman gets in good position here for the throw. Crosses it in. His bits there again. Win that header, Weston McKinney. Good start, Barrow Town. It's Weya down the wing for West Ham. Bali Mumba, great defending. Really good, Bali. This is good passing. Mumba gets it on the wing. Breaks forward a bit. This is good cross isn't that great but it's gonna be a shot here from hei not a bad effort we are moving the ball well possession right now is looking good for barrow town oh nice touch here by manga Leighton clarkson picks it up god i gotta work on my power felt like i really overhit that one with him this is good passing fran garcia goes forward hei is there great tackle Tingling helping out. Really good team defending there. Good tackle again, Bali Mumba. We are looking great in this match. Mazraoui has it into the box here against Bali Mumba. Tight angle and Mumba does well. Bali Mumba back to Teata. More good defending from the Firebirds. Nisbet, what a ball here. Out to Hiai. Hiai in towards Leighton Clarkson, who's taken out from behind. That is a reckless challenge. What's the referee going to do here? Just the yellow for Muhammad Kadoos. This is good dribbling from Bali Bumba. Really good. McKinney intercepts here. Rahman has it. Clarkson has it. Leighton Clarkson. P.I. into the box. It's good passing again. Just can't find that finishing touch, but I can feel it coming. And that's the halftime whistle there. Good first half for Barrow Town. We felt like we were right in this match with a high overall team, and I love that. Rare do you see Barrow Town with more possession in Premier League matches. Is this a sign of things to come this season? Or are we turning the tide on the CPU? Yuzumanga wins the header here. Josh Nisbet. Oh my god, I don't know how he got through there. Tried to flick it by. Goodness, Josh Nisbet. And Mumba wins it back. We are playing great today. Come on, Weston, win that. He does, but West Ham retain possession. Great read by Odell defensively, and he's going to intercept. That is so brilliantly done from our Jamaican. 
What a pass, Theata. First chance for West Ham in a while. They're going to get a corner here. Let's just try to head it out, collect it, do something. Azizi's the one that's in there. Enjai forced to make a save, and he does. Got to get better at defending corners. This one's taken short by Sancho. Off to Kudus. Good dribbling. Forcing him into a tight angle. Rahman gets in there. Another corner. Another corner. Another corner taken down the line. Good block, Teata. More good defending. Sancho has it here. He I defending. So far, so good. Garcia to Onyedika. He takes a shot. It's on target. Saved by Masamba. It's Nikolai defending and doing well. Oh my god, they're going to give a foul for that. And Nico's going to get a yellow. Josh Nisbet breaking forward, getting it to Manga. Zivergadins was there. The pass was just a little off by Yusu Manga. Let's put the pressure on. Come on. Oh my god, what a read by Bali Mumba. Was dribbling the wrong way when he intercepted it, but he has been all over it down that left wing today. A nice ball here to Manga. Yusu Manga onto Leighton Clarkson and Zivergadins has a chance here. Nikolai off the bar. He eyed to Raman. Raman. Zivergadins, it's blocked. Oh my god, the chances were really asking to be scored there, and we couldn't do it. He eyed, get in there. And again. God, this game. Wahi in the box. Teata forcing him to a tight angle, and Enjai kicks, saves, and that is huge for Masamba. Come on, defend this corner. Enjai saves and collects. That's huge. Manga has it here, and he can go forward. Bali Mumba is making a great run, and a nice ball here from Yusu Manga. Bali Mumba crosses it in. Raman's there. Maybe one more chance for West Ham here. Velasco has it. Bali Mumba is beaten. Velasco's in on goal. Enjai. That was disgusting. Oh my god. That is ridiculous dribbling. What a goal from Alan Velasco. And that's going to do it here in London. It was such a good match from Barrow Town, but West Ham are the ones that are going to win it here today. That's pretty disappointing. I thought we played so well today. But now it is time to face Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. We're on the road and we're sending out a lot of our cup rotation type players. We've got good players ready to come in as subs if needed because Chelsea are sending out a good lineup today. And Kunku is still out there. Enzo Fernandez is still their captain. Bino Gittens, who they just signed, is on the wing. He's very good as well. But this team defensively, in my opinion, looks very beatable with the way we played last match. If we can keep that up with this team, I like our chances to keep Keep the game close and then yeah who knows down the stretch of these games first start today for kieran hancock attacking midfielder as we do with everybody's debut if he can get a 7.0 match rating or higher he'll get plus one potential let's see if we can move on in the carabao cup as defending champions of the cup come on lads vandervall is in position luke vandervall does very well there looking to threaten and cuckoo has it off for enzo Teata. that's why he's in there Francis Paul doing well down the wing here. Good dribbling from Francis. Shabalala has it. Gonna cross it in towards Sanchez. Petrovic collects. That was looking threatening. Oh, yes, Saeed, Saeed. Way to get in there. Oh, I'm surprised they're gonna call the foul on that. Good dribbling from Benno Gittens. Vandervall's in there again. Luke Vandervall trying to get in the way. Do a phone kick save. Benno Gittens in the box. Chance for Chelsea here. What a freaking save through a phone ring ring great ball here from francis paul saeed saeed gets it back to teata and see if we can hold on to the ball for a little bit here well never mind get it forward to saeed saeed who keeps it in well done off to bruno sanchez who has quack gun running at the far post oh my god petrovich makes a great save there what a counter attack from those firebirds we're gonna try to get it to John Leofeco here, he gets his head on it, it's saved. Same routine, Arthur Teata's turn, I love this, run off of it. Teata's gonna get his head on it, it's blocked. <laughs> Come on, Luke Vanderval, get in there, really well done. Quack gun, look at the strength here. And the ball to Bruno Sanchez over the top. Sanchez, off to Saeed Saeed, and here we come forward. I like it, Bruno Sanchez. Looking over the top for Quack Gun, just walled off by Spilliers, otherwise he was in. This is really good from Shabalala. Nisbet in towards Quack Gun. 
What a ball from Quack! Bruno Sanchez was there! We're getting chances! Breaks a bit for Chelsea here. Saeed Saeed having a tackle and he takes himself out doing it, but Barrow Town are going to come away with it and Luke Vandervall breaks forward. Saeed Saeed to Vandervall. Back over the top! What a ball from Luke Vandervall and Bruno Sanchez has a chance to run in at goal. He's in! Saved by Petrovic! Go for it, Hancock. Why not? Saved by Petrovic. What a half for Barrow Town. We're withstanding defensively. And our counterattacks are killing them right now. We just got to finish one of them. Oh my god, and Cuckoo just gets right around our defense. What are we doing? Who fell asleep? It's just like John Lee Lefeco was just frozen in time. I don't know what just happened. Just when you think you're playing well, this game throws something like that at you. Let's see if we can answer. And Manga is in for Shabalala. I just want a little bit more quality in attack right now, and I feel like that's the guy. Great. Tackle. Arthur. Come on. And we're going to bring in Augustine for Saeed Saeed, and Br Bali Mumba is going to go out to right wing for Bruno Sanchez for the last 15 here. Good job. Good header here. Come on, Josh Nisbet. Really well done here. Excellent. And Hancock has it. This is great passing. Manga onto Nisbet. What are we doing? We had such an opening there. This could be dangerous here. Francis Paul has to deal with it well. That is brilliant against Nkunku. Might be giving us the last chance if he gets that off here. What a ball from Hiai and a good run from Bali Mumba. We get it to him. Bali cuts inside. Back to Hiai making a great run here. Hiai into the box. Augustine with a great position. He tries to play it across, but it's blocked by the Chelsea player. Francis Paul, that is massive. Manga has it here. Manga, forward to Quack Gun. Quack Gun, good dribbling onto Josh Nisbet. They are covering our attack so well right now. Is that going to be it, though? Oh, no, that's it. We are out of the Carabao Cup, <laughs> the competition that we won last season honestly we just got such a tough draw in the first match and we still haven't scored this episode but honestly i feel like we're playing so well we're passing well we're defending well we've just been unlucky through two matches and you want to talk about transfers like we were earlier want to talk about random transfers frankie de Jong going to wolves and just something i wanted to address a little bit unusual a little bit different i got this comment saying just a suggestion but quack gun needs to go for his mandatory korean military service you can send him away and bring him back with improved pace and physical stats similar to what happened with francis paul and we're gonna do it quack gun is gonna go out on loan technically but he's actually gonna go out for his korean military service we're going to bring him back on January 1st of this season, but it's September 1st, so we're going to have four months without our Korean striker. Normally, it's an 18 to 21 month expectation, but there are exceptions for athletes, and Quack Gun is a cult hero, he's a fan favorite, so he's not going to serve over a year in the military. And as he's decided to leave, we've decided to bring back Buyar Hika, the Albanian striker who's been out on loan. And he is an absolute baller, it seems, at six foot two. We're out of the Carabao Cup, so he's not going to play in that. But we are in the Europa Conference League, so all of our group stage matches are going to be Booyars. And we do want to win the Europa Conference League, so there's going to be a good mix of Nico as well. But we've been tracking this guy out on loan ever since we got him from the academy, and he just looks like he could be very good. Haven't even seen him yet, so we're not sure, but... Quack Gun outdoing his military service, and I love that comment. Shout out to you for bringing that up. Way to keep things realistic here. Just the way I like it. And Hika is going to be on the bench against Brighton in the Premier League here. They look very good, as does every Premier League team we're finding out. They've got a lot of quality in that side, highlighted by Nicholas Jackson up front. Breakout scenario is going to be a fun one today. For every interception Bali Mumba can get, he's going to get plus one to his interceptions. Could be up to five, six, who knows? Another home match here for the Firebirds. I think we've been playing well in our two matches this episode. I think it's a matter of time we break through with a goal and get ourselves a result here. Come on, lads. Come on, win that, Bali Mumba. Nicely done. Manga on to Mumba. Bali Mumba goes forward. And he's got space. Early on, it's Bali Mumba to give us the lead. What a run, Bali! The give
Ivan go the run all the way for the finish and the and one at the end by the keeper. That was electric. That a baby Polly. Let's go. Right in heaven on the wing here. It's Gallagher. They've kept it for a while here, but he I has been reading all of it. Oh, Nicholas Jackson catches us off guard. Big touch. And he scores. Of course they answer. Of course it's 1-1. God, it's just so classic, the answer. Azizi Rahman. Good dribbling, and Hiai has it. Augustine Hiai. In towards Zivergadins at the near post. How did that goalkeeper do that? Oh, get out of here, Jackson. Trying to take it by Odell. Not again. Might have been able to get away with that BS one time, but we're going to read it now. Brighton have been absolutely on fire since we scored that goal. It's like they just woke up because we scored the goal, but so far we're defending it pretty well. Again, Manga with some great dribbling and Nikolai can go forward. Zivergadins has it. He's going to wind up the shot. What a shot for Pragen. That's crazy hand control to save that. We've been good. We have a corner. We're going to target Odell Tingling. Definitely getting his head on that one. Another good save. Weston McKinney charging up the pitch and winning it. And they get it right back. And Keata wins it back. Really well done. Zivergadins has it. Nikolai all the way, baby. Come on. Let's go. 2-1. The control, the strength, and the speed of this Latvian man, absolutely unheard of. Oh my god, no way. Masamba, that would have been BS. I didn't even see it. The camera couldn't pan fast enough on that free kick. Augustine is quick. Can he take it around the man? Yes, he can. Augustine, what a counterattack. In on goal. Cutting. That's a foul, ref. What? That's a foul. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I did not like the angle to shoot, so I went for the cutback, and that was a ridiculous call, ref. He absolutely did not get all ball. And we're pressing him all the way to the last whistle. We have the 2-1 lead. We should have had a penalty at the end of the half there. Let's hope that doesn't make the difference. This is a good chance here for Brighton. My god, Odell tingling. The reaction is to block that. Classic CPU play off of the opening kickoff. They had not lost the ball. A good chance here, but look at the reaction time from Odell to get in the way of that one. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on, Augustine. Good interception, Odell. Oh, God, they win it right back. And Teata's got to wake up defensively. It's a dingra with a chance, but Teata is just... He's so good, man. Oh, that's such a good through ball. He better be offsides. Malasia gets the shot off and Enjai saves. I feel like Teata can be there at the near post if we do that run in again. Time it perfectly. There it is. It's Teata off the bar. Come on, man. Oh, that could be really good here, but Teata quick to read it. Oh, my God, Masamba, you are messing with my heart right now. Nisbet has it. Josh Nisbet looking for the run of Zivergadins. How is John Stones keeping up with him like that? What a touch that was. Come on, Weston, win that. Yes! Yusu Manga has it. Manga out to Bali Mumba. Good pass. Mumba in on goal again. It's Zivergadins. Oh my god, the unselfishness of this team. Sometimes it hurts us. Can Brighton create one more chance? It's over the top to Jackson. Tingling's there defending. Gallagher, Jackson, Teata's there. Weston McKinney cleans it up. And that should do it here for a Barrowtown victory at home. 2-1 over Brighton. And I feel like it could have been so much more. I love the way we're playing right now. Nice goal by Nikolai. Leighton Clarkson was good. I thought Josh Nisbet was really good. Bali Mumba, best game he's had for us, honestly. Probably the best game he's had for us, but Odell captaining the back line today. Beautiful from our big man. And our Europa Conference League group has been announced. We've got FC Copenhagen from Denmark, Hajduk Split from Croatia, and Aberdeen. That's a good group. Some fun teams in there. So I'm thinking we play United and we lose. We'll finish off playing against Nottingham Forest at home. But if we beat Man United or draw them, this will be the last match of the episode. And here are the 11s against Man United. Our lineup obviously stays the same. Six points in three matches. Really good start for the Firebirds. Man United in the meantime have signed Sandro Tonali. They've got Vermeeren, Christian Romero, Amedzevic. This is a very defensive team. 
Onana is still in goal. Hoyland's still up front. Rashford and Diallo make up the rest of the front three. This team is pretty good. Breakout scenario is going to be for Azizi if he can get his first goal of the season here at Old Trafford. Plus two finishing for the Egyptian winger. Come on, lads. Very far forward comes Man United's center back, and Rashford gets it. And here come Barrowtown Nisbet. That is wonderful dribbling. Rahman. Oh my god, he was looking for Zivergadins. Manga's gonna pick it up. Might as well cross it in. Zivergadins is there! What a start for the Firebirds! 1 0 at Old Trafford. The touch and the finish off of a nice manga cross. Yusu Manga's been creating very well this season. Gotta be careful here, it's gonna be a corner for Man United. You know they like to try and score and get good chances right after giving up a goal in this game. Teata, no foul, let's go. Easy interception for Teata, what are they doing? What a through ball here. Rashford picks it up with space, easy shot right at Big Masamba and he saves. We might have a little bit of a chance here. McKinney picks it up. Nisbet. What a ball here to Leighton Clarkson. And Leighton Clarkson is in. Zivergadins. What a chance. What a freaking counter attack from the Firebirds. That was so beautiful. We are taking over Old Trafford today. Leighton Clarkson. The weight of this pass. But the acrobatics again from Nico and Andre Onana. God, that is not a good look for the keeper. What a freaking start. Rahman just patiently dribbling, and he is making a nice run. He's going to get it to Zivergadins, who takes a touch here, and Leighton Clarkson's making a great run. It can be three. It is three. Dobby. Absolutely crazy. Good start from the Firebirds. We are trouncing Man United. I feel like this has been coming. We have played so well this season, and this team is starting to take flight. Might be a chance here for United at the near post. Easy save for the big man. Cleared out. It's halftime. It's 3-0. <laughs> Bali Mumba, what a tackle on Hoyland. He has been such a good defender this season. Win that header, Yusu Manga. That is brilliant. And Bali Mumba, patience. The patience from Bali. The dribbling. Gah, so close to getting it off. Bali Mumba taking it forward. The great dribbling, and Yusu Manga has space to run. Man United have been opened up again here. Manga goes for it. Oh my god, it glazes off the post. Oh, what a header here from Azizi Rahman. And Augustine Hiai has the pace. Here he comes. It's Hiai cutting it inside. Zivergadins. Easy. Oh my god, I really wanted to give it to Joshi. He's making a good run. Tingling, get in there. Oh, that is the story of the match. Out hustling, out playing them, but just missed the pass there. Manga has it here. Josh Nisbet takes it forward in. Zivergadins off to Rahman. Easy as you like, put it in. Oh my god. Tame on the finish, but he was trying to be a little cheeky. I understand. I get it. Hei taking Hoyland off of it, making it look so easy. That is not easy, but. We give it away here, and Vanderval, <laughs> the chop pass for no reason. Good clearance, Joshy. Come on. It's going to be a chance here for United. Good header by Augustine. They get it back here. Good save, Masamba. And there is the final whistle here at Old Trafford. Three first half goals for Barrow Town. We probably could have had five or so, but we'll take it. Nico's got to be at top of the scoring charts. That's five and four matches for Nikolai. What a start for the Firebirds. Three wins in four matches. We've got nine points. I can't imagine we're too far down that table anymore, guys. We're going to be mid or near that top. But that's going to do it for this episode of FC Destiny with Barrow Town. Until that next time, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button in the meantime if you haven't already. Like the video and leave me some amazing, excellent comments that you guys always do. Can't wait to read them. Until that next time, though, this has been Therios. You'll never walk alone.